Legends, welcome back to the channel. John here, and there's been quite a bit of progress today. Uh, you can see that this is uh, what we've achieved today. We've got two massive sleeper beds built. Um, and in this video, we will talk about how I built them and what we've done today. So it started off with a delivery from Travis Perkins and a big shout out to Travis Perkins in Boston who did me a good deal on uh, my sleepers and my slate. Uh, they are licensed to operate underneath this cable by the way. It's not an electric cable, it is a uh, telephone cable so don't panic about that. There's my sleepers on there, there's my slate and here they come. They're coming underneath that telephone cable, nice. Um, and a big shout out to the team there for such epic delivery. Here they are then. We've got 24 sleepers on here which are going to perform and preform the uh, the external parts of the flower beds. And, and we're planning on treating them and you'll see later on in the video what we've done with them. But here they are being delivered into place right next to Mrs. John Coupland's uh, lovely Fiat 500 there onto the grass. Right, everything's in place then. We've got the sleepers, we've got the slate. There's uh, two big bulk bags there. That bulk bag, by the way, is massively full. This one, not as full. So uh, I think we've definitely got our money's worth there. And two boards apply to fix the trailer. More on that in another video because uh, we did break the trailer <laughs> when we were in the process of taking uh, all the other sleepers from where we bought them from. Uh, right, so we've got to drag all these now around the back. And we've got them around the back. Mrs. John Coopman is treating the bottoms currently of all the sleepers with a bitumen paint. That is because these sleepers are going to sit just onto the floor. We're not going to put down any hardcore gravel. I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but Mrs. John Coopman taking a, a little bit of time with her paintbrush. She's not the fastest painter in the world. Uh, and you can just see Crystal in the background um, helping out as well. <laughs> in the sunshine we're using blackjack it's black bitumen paint it's from everbuild it's good stuff uh, there she is then there's crystal <laughs> i think we're going over to have a chat with her actually uh are you enjoying the sunshine yes it's now tommy rob's time <laughs> she's a wally isn't she uh but uh this is me having a break from humping all the sleepers around the back so you've just seen some of the preparation there in arriving on the uh, Travis Perkins lorry. Big shout out to Flatline for sorting that out for me. Uh, and this is what we have achieved. Now, I didn't actually film the putting these together. It's pretty simple. Uh, effectively, lay them on the floor and screw them together. Um, I have been painting, and what you can see in the other video is we've been painting the insides. It's not finished yet. You can see that they are being protected, and we are just laying straight onto the grass and the dirt here. There'll be a membrane liner in there, membrane liner on the top, and then bushes and trees and whatever Mrs. John Coopman decides to put in there. Um, grass seeded, uh, all of this. Now, this has all been grass seeded, and this is one of my Chinese food hogs in place. You can see sort of where it's going to be there's going to be one there on a plinth and of course another there on a plinth this is all going to be dug out and slated and the slate uh, you saw being uh, brought in um i'm not sure is the honest answer if i like these at the moment because it is a case of coming round the corner and there they are uh, and also from above they might look a little bit sketchy when we get uh, the path in and we get all of the bits and pieces in but you can see this is why i've been putting my spoil here because it is uh, obviously going in these beds it's been a busy old day um i won't lie we've been using these uh, this paint uh, you saw mrs john coopman with earlier it's black jack it's a black bitumen paint it's only going on the inside and it's gone on the uh, outside edges as well that are touching the ground and that is to waterproof and hopefully stop uh, the sleepers from the inside rotting out um, it's not much more of an update really in comparison to what we've done uh, but it's certainly been a busy old day it's just coming up to 7 o'clock that I'm filming this video and I'm absolutely shattered uh, next port of call then is to paint these they're going to be painted uh, I'm going to have a different colour here and different colour on the top similar to what you can see here on the pond um, so we've got the brown at the bottom and the black at the top. Uh, I'm thinking of doing the same, brown at the bottom, black at the top. But there's plenty of options that we can, we can toy with when we get closer. Uh, they are big. They're bigger than I expected. I did have my stakes in the ground, as you saw in the previous video. And if you've not watched that video, then I suggest you check it out. Uh, but these certainly do look 
bigger than I expected um, and obviously I'm going to need a lot more soil than what I've got here at the moment to fill these up but there will be some more updates coming uh, in a few days I'm now back to work so I'm going to work for a rest and then uh, there'll be an update in the next few days hope you enjoyed the video if you have smash subscribe hit like give us a comment what do you think so far are you a fan because uh, I'm a little bit unsure at the moment we shall see how it goes until next time have a great day goodbye